Christmas in Nigeria is usually a time of great joy and happiness among the people. Many travel to their hometown from the city to reunite with families and friends to celebrate what many believe is the biggest festival on earth. As is the practice in Nigeria and in many parts of the world, preparations for Christmas usually begins in late November or early December. But such preparations reach crescendo on Christmas Eve, that is December the 24th, as people engage in 11th hour shopping, buying of foods, clothing and other such materials to add color to the celebration. The 2022 Christmas, however, does not hold too much hope for the usual phone as markets across Lagos record a very low turnout of shoppers. Rice, the most popular staple food for Christmas celebration in Nigeria, is not enjoying the usual patronage this year. Dealers complain of poor turnout of shoppers. Many say the 2022 Christmas sales for them is the poorest they have witnessed since they have been in the business. For most dealers, the shutting of Nigeria's land borders have done more harm to the business of rice than good. They lament that the locally produced rice, which should come cheaper than the imported brands, now compete in price with the latter. I've been trading here for 35 years. One, there is no money in town. Two, rice is too expensive. Three, four years ago, we sold rice for between 13,000 and 14,000 naira. This year, we sold same rice at 41,000 naira. When the festival was approaching, they started dropping the price. They said it's because of the dollars. Despite that, see the atmosphere in the market. Ordinarily, on a Christmas Eve like this, you never meet us sitting down like this. We will all be busy, but there's nothing to get us busy. The economy is spoiled. The traffic on the road is too much. People could not get to the market because all the major roads are blocked. That may be a factor, but Nigerian economy is not okay this year. People are not buying things this year. They have cut down on the size of rice they usually buy. We have never seen rice to be this expensive. It should not be like that. They keep telling us not to bring in foreign rice, but the foreign rice is better than local rice and even more affordable. People could not afford it. So they now cut down on the volume of rice they buy. That is the problem. Live and frozen chicken is another popular food used in the celebration of Christmas in Nigeria. This year, a live chicken goes for as high as 12,000 naira for the average size, while those with more weight and sizes sell for 15,000 naira and more. The high cost is blamed on the rising rate of chicken feeds by the farmers and dealers alike. For them, the unstable foreign exchange and the constant fall of the Naira against the US dollars throughout the year does not help matters. Chicken is expensive. The feed rose from 6,500 Naira last year to 11,500 Naira this year. People are not coming to buy chicken. Nothing is selling well at the market. Help beg the leaders to find solutions to this. The Arise News crew also visited clothes market across the state. The story is not different. When the crew got to Oshudi, which is one of the leading markets in the state for clothes, traders were seen sitting down and chatting to while away time, while the shoppers would not come as usual. They say the high cost of food has not created enough space for Nigerians to give any serious consideration for clothing. For these traders, the 2022 Christmas shopping is the worst they have seen in recent time. This year's market is very bad. Very, very bad. People are complaining no money. So, this, like today now, we do not see any customers. So it's very bad. Because of how the country is, economy of the country. So everything is going down. If it is normally as in normal years, when you say season, if you come here, you see customers, people going in, coming out, going in, coming out. But if you can look inside now, nobody is there. Everywhere is empty. Because people do not see money to buy food to eat. Talk more of buying clothes. It's when you eat belly food before you buy clothes. 
So if you ask customer how far it has been long, I not see you. You say, but God, I not see money to eat first. Talk more about buying clothes. Let me eat first before buying clothes. Many whose Christmas celebrations are not complete without traveling to their home state for family reunion have a disappointment this year. Some of them will rather cancel the trips or sacrifice other things in their finances to accommodate the high cost of transport fare. This is Jibowu area of the state. Travelers to far parts of Nigeria are usually very confident to board the bus here because of availability and best fares. But this year, even the transporters in Jibowu are not spared of the poor economy, especially the lingering fare crisis across the country. Diesel is a high price. One liter of diesel now is 950. Some they sell 870. Some they sell 860. Understand? Okay, now if you buy that diesel like that, for example, now this motor, this bus we see now, feed it is almost 400 liters. Uh, times and by 960 or, 900 or 780. But when the diesel increase, the company put it to about 12, 13, 5. But during this Christmas, they increase it to 17.5 and later to 25, which is how it is as of now. I'm traveling to Obon State. The last time it was 15,000, 14,000, 10,000. There's a time I, I used to travel at the rate of 5,000 Naira. But what is happening now? As bleak as the 2022 Christmas appears to be for some Nigerians, many still found ways of creating their own phone out of the season as they explore alternatives to rice, chicken and new clothes. Some say for chicken, they relied on smoked fish as alternatives. After all, both are good sources of protein. While for rice, some Nigerians return to more affordable local delicacies to celebrate Christmas. Oba Adeoye, Arise News, Lagos.